The Graduate Students Association of Ghana, GRASAG, wants those named in the alleged Get Fund Scholarship scandal to be surcharged. The call comes after some government appointees were listed as beneficiaries of the scheme, which was set up for brilliant but needy students. Popped up in the alleged scandal, politicians, government appointees and media personnel have all been named by Get Fund as having benefited from the scheme. This is what has attracted public concern. For some, the scholarships were not to be given for foreign schools but were to enable beneficiaries access higher university education in Ghana. According to the Graduate Student Association of Ghana, GRASAC, the act of public officials receiving funds meant for brilliant but needy students is an abuse of discretionary powers by the board of the Ghana Education Trust Fund. All public officials, MPs, ministers of state, anyone who is not supposed to receive scholarship from Get Fund and by whatever means manage to get scholarship, such a person must be surcharged. Grasak also wants government officials who have benefited from the scholarship scheme to refund the money. A performance audit report of the Auditor General on the administration of scholarships by Get Fund revealed that Education Minister Matthew Puku Prempe, Procurement Minister and Deputy Majority Leader in Parliament Sarah Adras Safo, as well as other government appointees, all benefited from the scheme. Joseph Armstrong, TV3, Accra. Let's stay on this subject matter a while longer. We've been joined in studio by Samuel Sego. He is the president of GRASAG. And we want to find out from you, really, what is informing this decision at this time to want the persons named to be surcharged? Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Wh why are you asking for them to be surcharged? I mean, still the students of Ghana need money. The many students are unable to pay their school fees, especially at the postgraduate level. And all the excuse we get is that there is no money. Only for us to hear that the money that are meant for needy students are being all the, used all the excuse you hear from who? The excuse we hear from the scholarship secretariat that is mandated to give out scholarships. Mm -hmm. Now, the law stipulates that Get Fund should distribute money to one student loan, give money to the scholarship secretariat, and give money to NCT, all aimed at supporting needy students. So, for instance, the student loan is supposed to give out loans to mm. students at the tertiary level, undergraduate level. The scholarship secretary also gives scholarships and bursaries to students at the graduate level and even some at the undergraduate level. However, the money that is meant for these agencies are not coming from the GET Fund. And they curtailed the disbursement of that money from 2008 as the audit reports revealed. But it's not everybody on the list that um, was quote-unquote wrongfully given the money so those there were a number of students there as well so how are you able to differentiate between who genuinely got it and apart from the names you know of some um, MPs that were brought up we shouldn't confuse the argument it shouldn't we shouldn't accept that get fund gives scholarship to some students who are not MPs or ministers mm. so it's okay the law does not allow get fund to do that they are using the section E that says they can enter into any other education activity. But when it comes to scholarship, mm -hmm. it is clear by the law that give the money to the scholarship secretariat to distribute to brilliant but needy students. When it comes to infrastructure, it tells you what to do. When it comes to loans, it says give the money to the student's loan trust fund. Okay. So if Get Fund now enters into the business of retail scholarship awarding, then we have a problem. Now, for the members of parliament, our issue is that you are the lawmakers. You know the law. So if Get Fund is abusing the law, you should not join in in the abuse. But the fact that they saw a loophole and they entered and abused the law, we think that they have done themselves um, and the rest of Ghana a whole lot of injustice mm. and they should refund the money. How do you intend pursuing this? I mean, some have already written to the Office of the Special Prosecutor to um, pursue this issue. We also know that uh, some parallel investigations are ongoing. How does GRASAG intend to pursue this? So for us, we are looking at the possible abuses of office by these Article 71 um, office holders. Mm -hmm. So we are also looking at going to strike for strike to investigate any possible abuse of office. Because, I mean, you are an MP and your constituents are poor people. If an MP says that know who a poor person is, I say go to your constituency and see the cocoa seller by the road. At the end of the day, he, she makes only 50 cities or 100 mm -hmm. cities profit. 
So if you want to know an example of who a poor person is, is this person who has five or six children. So if the man that is meant for such a person, you also go for it, for courses that sometimes last for three weeks, one week, and you mm. pay so much amount of money, then it's unconscionable. And that is our argument that charge must come I, in. I, do you have timelines you're working with? Uh, we are looking at various angles. So there is already an investigation that has been commenced by the special prosecutor. Mm. And we are also looking at meeting our neck and drafting a special petition to Shraj okay. for Shraj to um, commence this investigation. All right. So, I mean, it's certainly uh, an issue that we also have interest in. We'll see how uh, it unfolds in the coming days. Samuel Sego is president of Grasag. They are asking for those who were um, beneficiaries of the GET Fund wrongfully to be surcharged or to pay back those monies. We'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted. This is still News at 10 on TV3. We 